What is up guys, welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to talk about what the 10 common mistakes are that make your PC run slower. Okay, so this is our, you know, mistakes that everyone does and really doesn't, don't really think about often. So the first one is not rebooting your PC. So when you don't reboot your PC, it does affect the speed of it eventually. So you will have large page files, you would have large files uh, internally which just take up space that's first of all and you'll have unnecessary cache in your PC which uh, you really don't need so once you re actually do a reboot it kind of clears out everything and starts your cache from anew all right and that's what you really want so that will keep your computer at a steady rate you know if you will probably notice dramatic uh, speed difference if you are experiencing some speed issues all right so second thing is clicking on shady ads so if you go to a certain website and start clicking on random ads or you even by accident right um, it will it well I wouldn't say it will but it definitely could affect your performance of your computer you know you don't know what these ads are they can be downloading trackers and different things onto your browser and onto your system itself okay so you definitely want to stay away from that third one is you have too many programs running so you can see my computer over here I have a couple programs but you might wonder okay I don't really have a lot of programs but you know it's still running a lot of stuff so the other thing is over here you know these are also programs running on your computer so to get these are the programs usually when that run on startup right so as soon as you run your computer and these programs will run so let's say you want to disable that you can go to right click taskbar oops not there um, so you can press uh, control shift escape to open the task manager All right so let's just expand that you can see these are the applications that I have currently running and you'll see a tab on top that says startup so here are the applications let's do status enabled so these are the applications that automatically run when my computer starts up all right and uh, you know all right, I don't really need this so I can disable that um, and if you don't know what it is you kind of want to just leave it alone and you know because it might be something you need specifically for your you know Wi-Fi or for your sound settings or for some some driver that um, needs to run on startup so you know if you do disable it you can always just right click and then re-enable right um, so right click I can enable it again you know if you do happen to screw something up so yeah that's pretty much it pretty easy for this all right and uh, yeah you can just close this and it, it'll still have the application open right but you can just right click it and then exit whatever you want so let's exit that and yeah all right so now third thing is well are we on third or fourth thing is you don't use any security software and that doesn't mean um, you know have a third-party antivirus solution on your computer Windows Defender is in my opinion good enough if you aren't doing you know anything um, shady in a sense right so you can go to Windows security right and virus and threat protection and you can do a quick scan over here and it'll show you um, if anything was select uh, found for to for it to be shady or not and you know Windows Defender has improved a lot in the past you know I know it does get a bad rep but in my opinion nowadays Windows Defender is decent enough to get um, you know any especially the major viruses off your computer and on top of this you can get other other free applications like Malwarebytes right um, and uh, other ones I'm sure they're out there but in my opinion I like to keep it more simple and just stick with the Windows Defender all right uh, moving on we want to talk about disk cleanup so this is not something people do regularly this cleanup you want to just search it and then once you search it choose which drive you want um, this one is external hard drive so I'll just do my C drive and here it is so now you can see these are the applications I've done this recently so I don't have a lot of uh, big size files on here so you can choose what you want and then uh, clean up system files well that that opens it up as admin which I believe will show you more options so that's taking a little bit 
So I want to just pause the video and then play it when it finishes. All right, so it's finished and we can see over here, we have Windows upgrade log file that's 783 megabytes. I have Windows, previous Windows installation, which is taking up 22 gigabytes, which I don't really need, right? And you can just select whichever one and press okay to remove it. Now this is gonna take a while, so I won't do that now, but you get to just, it'll remove any uh, large files that you have on your computer, which you really don't need in my opinion. All right, um, next is not keeping your Windows up to date. So Windows update. So you can just search that and see over here, check for updates. And you want to do this often, okay? Because, you know, they, the update you could be on could be like, you know, could have a bug, could have a security issue, could have performance issues. So when they come up with a new update, you know, it does, it can help. Um, if there are any performance issues in the uh, version you have currently. So you want to just stay up to date on your Windows update. All right, so moving on, you wanna use a tool uh, that clears your browser cache, all right? And not only browser, but different application caches, something like Bleachbit, okay? So I already have it open over here. You can download it, it's completely free. You know, it's similar to a, you know, CCleaner, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. It's just CCleaner, I don't really recommend anymore. I use Bleachbit, it is free open source. And in my opinion, it's just a lot simpler and better. All right, so you choose which application you want and you can clear the cache for that application, right? Uh, you can do a preview firsthand uh, just to see how much information is going to remove like how big the file size and you can just select for whichever one you want okay and once you do that you can just do clean and it will remove all those uh, different cache items that it has so that will definitely help your browser experience in my opinion uh, you know a lot of browsers do tend to start going slow eventually after a certain time of use because people don't really clear out the cache or you know extra temporary files that are there so this definitely clears it up and helps it um, you know go a little bit faster and in my opinion if your browser is going slow you definitely will see some sort of performance improvement after doing this all right so moving on, so let's just open this up again. Uh, you want to keep all your applications up to date. So let's look at Bleachbit. So, you know, every application you have will have like an about section or, you know, information section where you can see the version you're using. And usually it'll say um, some have an, a button to click to see if there's any updates available or some you have to go to their website and see if there's any updates. So you always want to be on the latest update of the application all right um and that's mainly similar to the windows updates where you know it could be security issues performance issues or any sort of issues that they're going to resolve and you know just more features but definitely uh in my opinion it's good to stay on up to date with all the features all right and moving on we will uh, i want to some mention something this is not software but you know more hardware in my opinion is clean keeping your computer case clean and dust free so when it's dusty like this you can see it's just really bad for the computer you know all the fans are working extra harder you know it's not cooling properly the dust is getting in places it's not supposed to be getting in it's just ruining the lifespan of your computer as well as making it a lot harder for your computer to run as is because a cooler computer runs faster and runs more optimally so you know once you have dust clogging up the fans clogging up uh basically everything you are kind of keeping the heat inside and not letting it escape and that definitely affects performance in a bad way so you, you want to just try to keep those clean all right um now last but not least we want to optimize our drives okay this one most people don't know of which is kind of weird because i thought everyone did know about this uh, you want to just search defragment and optimize drives and click on it wait a couple seconds and here we are so you can see my external so this defragmentation only works on the hard on the hdds right now on the ssds so you want to do it on the HDDs only. So analyze, right? Uh, you can see mine is 0% fragmented, which is good. That's what you want, 
Okay, so you can do opt, um, optimize also, but in, it's not really going to do anything in my case. But, you know, this usually happens when you have a lot of files on your computer that are being constantly deleted and added. In my pin, in my hard drive, I don't have that anymore, and I've optimized it. Um, I, I do it frequently, so I really don't have this issue. But basically, it's, you know, something if you're running your PC on where, you know, a lot of temporary files are being stored, where you're downloading files, deleting them, and just installing, deleting, it, it could... Um, fragment your hard drive which basically means um, it's more of like a, I don't want to get too much technical but it's more logical in the hard drive where there's not enough space uh, contiguous space for a certain piece of memory to fit so this just um, basically clears that up and makes more space so you want to definitely do this on you know weekly or wherever you want to do right you can even I guess schedule it right um, but yeah, just whatever you feel comfortable with. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, these are the top 10 ways. A lot of people, you know, uh, don't really do these often, which results in making your computer slower and just giving you a bad experience overall. So yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get any updates every time a video goes live. Other than that, Broke Millennial out. Peace.